Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our angle defense game. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games and fun games and teaching tools to use and play, and there's never any membership or sign-up required, and they're all free to play and use. Okay, let's take a look at the game, and when you first start the game, this is what you'll see. This is the main menu. You'll be able to find this game on the... Uh, in the geometry game section on MathNook, and you can get there by going to the uh, first page on MathNook, looking for the games by category, and there's a text uh, link which will say geometry games, and you can click on that and it'll show you all of our geometry games, which this will be one of them. Okay, when you first start the game, this is what you'll see. Um, the more games button, if you click that, it'll take, us to, it'll take you to uh, our sister site, lofgames.com, and they also have uh, free math games and puzzle games to play, and there's never any sign-up or membership required, and they're all free to play, too. So um, click the video button. That will take you to the page on MathNook that has this video in case you want to watch it again. I'm going to click on instructions, and you can see uh, the instructions here, but since I'm going to go over how to play the game, I'm not going to read these out to you. And, um, uh, what I wanted to show is the clear data button. If you click this, it says you want to clear all data. That's referring to the high score um, that you may have, uh, may have on the game in case you've played it or somebody else has played it. And this allows you to clear out the high score. And... Uh, Let's go ahead and click this. It'll take you to the main menu. Let's go ahead and click play, and I'll uh, show you how to play in a second. But you have two options. The basic option is um, where the zero degree mark never changes. It's always up at the top of the screen, and you'll see that in a minute. And we'll look at both versions, but the advanced version will actually, the zero degree mark moves around, so it complicates measuring the angles, makes it a little bit harder. But on the plus side, you get more points for every ship that you uh, shoot down. Okay, let's go ahead and click the basic, and I'll show you how that works. And when you start out, it's level one. You have five lives. Um, your high score is here. Your current score is over here. And this is the basic level and not advanced. Okay, so the ship's coming in. There's zero degrees. That's 360, 350, 340. I'm going to do 340. Shoot it. And it goes away. And another one comes up. And that looks like it's about 100 mark. Now, these are 10 degree in increments. And the ships will always come in on uh, those increments. So this one is 100. You notice the zero, nothing's moving. The zero degree mark always stays there. And you're measuring the angles you, as uh, clockwise as these arrows show. And you can always, um, I'm just going to shoot 100 degrees. You don't get penalized for missing. So um, let me go ahead and get that one, 170, I believe. And you can always kind of estimate. Um, I'm guessing that's about 330. And if you miss, it's no big deal. So 90, I'm going to say that's 140. You can see I played a while. And now, it just the level increase, now you get two ships coming at once. Let's go ahead and do 260. And 280. And that looks like, a, oh, see, I missed. So uh, that's how the estimation works. You can do 290 and hit it. Just add it a little bit. And, uh, and then 80. So anyways, that's how you play. And uh, once the ship reaches your cannon, then it will explode and you'll lose one life. And then when you lose all five lives, the game's over. So I'm going to go ahead and let you see what happens when a ship gets in the middle. Actually, it looks like about two of them are fixing to hit. And you'll see, uh, as they hit, you'll see me lose some lives. There goes one. There goes two. So that's how you play the basic level. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, advanced level. I didn't show you these buttons, but they're pretty standard. This toggles the sound on and off, and this toggles the music on and off. Let's go ahead and click advanced. Now, 
you'll see it looks normal just like the basic that's 90 that's 100 degrees and I'm measuring that across the, this way so this is 90 you can see a 90 degree and then 10 more is 100 now the zero degree mark you can see where it moved and this looks like you, where a lot of estimation comes in that's 90 I'm gonna say 70 Oop, I need to bump it up one more 10 more I should say one more increment and you can see that it's a little bit challenging sometimes it's better just to do what I did and estimate that looks like about 270 and if you miss you just uh, adjust accordingly and 1a looks like about 3 uh, 210 220 let's say that what happens here yeah it's right on the mark now level increase it gets very difficult and what happens now is uh, Let's see if I can get that one. Oh, I was way off. Zero's down here, so that's, that looks like 270 over there. 250, maybe. There we go. And now 350, 40, 330. See, and that really makes it difficult because everything moves around, including the ships. So, as you can see, as you get farther along, as you increase levels, more ships, but it becomes, this is, this is why the level is more advanced because it is definitely more difficult. Well, that's how you play the game. Hope you have fun playing and thanks for watching.